Hey guys, I'm back and today we're gonna be speaking about fake friends and toxic friends. Well, it's the same thing, fake and toxic friends. And you know, I just wanna, okay, wait, hold on, because I always do this. I'm always doing this. Subscribe, subscribe and like and comment. <laughs> Is that simple? Then I'm gonna have to yell at y'all. Come on now, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. <laughs> nah, but for real. All right. So today I'm gonna be speaking about fake and toxic friends. And I'm just so upset right now because my camera is saying that it's about to die. I just don't understand why. But anyways, we're gonna speak until it dies and then I'll just upload the rest. So today we we have I have topics on what I want to speak about because I went through so much like from 2017 to now with fake friends like I've, I've had it and at this point I want peace in my life and I'm happy where I'm at and I just want to you know eliminate people who don't need to be here well they're already eliminated but you get what I'm saying so I'm just gonna sh tell you guys some tips of fake friends that you don't need to be around you get what I'm saying because I swear to God when you get rid of these people you see how much better your life gets like sometimes people negative energy drains your soul you 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 know like you tell people things so genuinely and they're hating on you the whole time like it's weird it's just very weird and sometimes people know the struggle that you've been through and now that they see you coming up they're intimidated by that because they want to be all the way here and they don't want you to get nowhere you get what i'm saying like it's just weird energy so there's so much that I'm gonna speak about that I wrote it on my phone. Like I have went to my notes and I put topics down that I wanna speak about because these are things that, you know, as women, we need to support each other more. Like this hate and the jealousy thing has like, it comes like, I look at it as it's probably in their genes and they need to fix whatever that is. You get what I'm saying? And I'm getting older, I don't have time for that. So one, Number one, it's jealousy and not and not supporting your friend's business or whatever that they want to do in life and not supporting it. Like, if you're not supporting me, first of all, I shouldn't have to ask for your support. You should just do it genuinely because that's what friends do. We support each other. We're happy for each other. But if you're not doing that, it's just like you we already get the point like you you don't you just don't want to see me get up there you know people are intimidated sometimes they get like insecure they have their own self-esteem issues that they're dealing with and they try to put that shit on you but you get what i'm saying when you strong you don't have to deal with shit like that you get what i'm saying like continue well if your friends are not supporting you it's okay because trust me to other people, they will support you. People who don't know you support you more than people that know you. Even it, even your family members, you know what I'm saying? Like, even people, family members at times don't support you and that's okay, like, that's all right. Never hate, don't ever get mad because when you got a goal and you know that you're going somewhere in life, just laugh, just laugh it out because when you reach there, trust me, they gonna wanna support you. And people always wanna support when you're popular or whatever, right? So that's number one. Number two would be talking down on your goals. So if you go to your friend and you tell them, oh, I wanna be a hairstylist, so I wanna be a nail tech, or whatever you wanna be, an actor, whatever you wanna be, and they be like, oh, well, I don't think you should do that. I think, first of all, why are you saying that? Why does everything have to be so negative right away? And if you're telling them what you wanna do and they're quiet about it, that just shows you that they see your potential and they know where you're gonna be and they're scared that you leave them so what they're gonna do is start hating on you instead of supporting you because when I win you win they don't see that they see if you win it's like oh I gotta hate her like I'm jealous I'm hating I'm mad because some people just don't have that personality and that drive like you do so it intimidates them they they are scared and some people just want to be just like you but they don't know how to say it so they stick around to know all your business so whenever y'all mad at each other or they get mad at you they spill your tea that's not a real friend any friend that you had in the past that you're not friends with now spilling your tea was never your friend 
that's just clear like never your friend if they want to say oh she said this she did this da, 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 they was never your friend just like leave her leave her over there you know what i'm saying like and you don't have to have animosity when you stop talking to a friend sometimes you are grow people like and that's okay females need to understand that females be thinking like oh if we stop talking it's a beef no it's not beef we just outgrew each other we have nothing in common no more so let's carry on and you stay there i stay there and that's just gonna be that um another thing would be saying slick shit in a funny way listen when you say slick shit in a funny way take that shit serious because these girls be wanting to say slick little comments in funny ways and be thinking that shit is funny but deep down inside they really mean that shit like oh if they say oh girl you got a gut and laughing and shit just like saying little slick shit in funny ways and like talking about you and saying mean things that just shows like they have no like their insecurities all the way down and they trying to bring you down listen don't ever feel bad like if someone is trying even the prettiest girls be hating and fake and be jealous and it just be crazy because most of the times you'd be like why are you so mad like you're mad pretty like why are you hating on me you're pretty too you get what I'm saying? So, like, even the prettiest girls, like, you don't know what people have dealt with in their life. They probably was bullied before. Who knows? They probably would, like, things probably happened to them in their past, and now it just made them this evil, nasty person. And they just don't want to be better. They just probably feel better doing things like that. So, that doesn't, they don't need to be a friend. It's just, like, it's just clear, you know? And when they're trying, when people are trying to copy you, okay, so people think people take copying like like okay it's it's two types of copying it's copying when you're like when you're genuine and you be like oh girl what is that you're wearing i love that i love that i want that that's more genuine but when you acting like you had some shit before me and like you didn't compliment me or anything like that when i had it and now all of a sudden you had it so you want me to compliment you that just shows that that she's hating she's hating and she want to be like you but she's gonna she's gonna act like she she's gonna act like you know like some girls don't want to give you credit you get what i'm saying like that's what i'm trying to say some girls don't want to give you credit so they're gonna act like they put their, their self on and they're gonna act like they did it first but you let them do that you let them do that because you know who you are at the end of the day you don't ever have to address anything and i tell people this all the time you don't have to address shit you don't have to address nothing because if when you know yourself you just know you like addressing things is just showing that you really care so don't address shit let them think what they want to think and carry on like i swear to god god deals with people like i've seen it happen like you know i went through so much in my life and i've seen karma come back around for so much people so listen be evil continue being evil because he gonna get you he gonna get you and he is god um okay so another thing is friends who don't listen to you right so if you if your friend always call you and she's talking to you about her issues and you give her supportive advice and you're always talking to her and you know listening to her that's you being a friend now when you do that to her and you call her for advice and you want to vent and speak and she's not paying you no mind and she'd be like oh girl this this picture is cute oh this this um like you know talking about things okay ladies i'm back my camera died so i think i was saying about um being on the phone with your friend and she's not listening to anything that you're saying those are selfish people those are people who only think about themselves and their feelings so when you have selfish friends you just need to let them go sometimes you got to be worried though worried about the ones who listen a lot and worried about the ones who don't listen because some of the friends who do listen a lot they're preying on your downfall so be mindful of who you tell your business to so the other little topic would be friends who are friends with girls who don't like you it just don't it just don't go sometimes you might be in a group where you fall out with one friend and you're still cool with the other one and the other one is still cool with the other one but those type of things i don't like to be in because now it depends on how bad you fall out with that friend 
like you don't know if they're talking about you and a lot of girls like to create a hate train you know what i'm saying so when you have when you're when you're friends with someone and they're friends with somebody who don't like you watch out for that person because how, how do you know if they're defending you how do they, how do you know if they're going to tell you if that person is speaking about you like how like people who play two sides and want to be middle man is a person that you don't need to have around like it's either you're going to stick to this side and do that and that's it because if you're if your friend if that person who you're beefing with can be comfortable enough to talk about you to this friend it's like you gotta watch out for that friend too because regardless of what if she comes back and tell you it's like what are you saying to stand up for me how would i know that you're standing up for me so those type of friends you don't need around it's just fake they just fake like let them create a hate train together you know what i'm saying like just that's just more clout for you that's just more you know more talking like it's always good when people talk about you regardless if it's bad or not oh my god give me one sec because my baby is itching stop okay <laughs> you hear him but anyways yes guys so those are little tips that i wanted to let you guys know about when you encounter fake friends or you feel like they're fake you know and i have story times about fake friends so let me know below if you want to hear about that i got a couple stories that i'm going to be telling you guys about fake friends listen and it, it it'd be crazy because when i stop talking to girls they start doing weird shit i'd be like were you infatuated lucky like it'd be weird like i don't understand but i love you guys make sure you subscribe and you like and you comment i'm gonna upload this video i want to see comments i want to see likes and I just want to see what you guys think about my video so far. I'm going to definitely be giving you story times about fake friends and other things that happen in my life. And yeah, you're going to get to know me more and more and more. So, 